Transition to Clean Cooking Fuels movement received much deserved attention at the forum. Clean cooking is an enormously complex issue. There is no one size fits all solution or a set of policy guidelines that you could issue to every country to be able to easily pursue a clean cooking transition. The Clean Cooking Alliance works very closely with governments and partners to create an enabling environment that supports the growth of a sector that can deliver clean cooking solutions to all. And part of that is really honoring the self-determination of national governments to be able to create clean cooking transitions that best suit their local context. It means that we are investing in innovation, we're investing in solutions. So maybe a solution that works in Asia may not work in Africa. We cook differently in Africa than in Asia. So how we invested in technology to help us and, and also prioritization of the subject. Um, there's funding for so many other things but not cooking. Mm -hmm. Well we've done a lot but we could do so much better. The most important thing also we shouldn't think about it as a cooking issue. We should think about it as an issue that affects all the aspects of our well-being. So as you said, health, education, and all the SDGs that we're, we're, we're trying very hard to achieve, the clean cooking cuts across. So all the people who have to put their funds towards the development agencies, the government, should not think of it as a cooking situation. And also there should be collaboration between agencies. I find that from the work I've done, some of the problems is that um, it's usually under the energy ministry, but there are health implications, so you need to engage with the health ministry or the environment ministry. So we have to talk to each other, we have to collaborate, but most important, as Jeline said, we have to prioritize clean cooking.